It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Great day, I then in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Eselassie, the first Empress Men in the first balance the equation. And today, for um, this series of the mindset, we have an honorable Empress, Elder Empress, Empress go by the name of Empress Ascali, been chatting Rastafari for many years now, over. Over 40 years now. Over 40 years. Over 40 years. Mustafa. Empress Askele, warm Bless welcome. Bless love, give thanks. Great honor. It's a great honor to be here. Rastafari. Yes, indeed. Yes, I. Wonderful. Wonderful job. Thank you. Yes, mindset. Yes. Mindset. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. lovely. We have a lovely mindset, you know. Yes, we are sir. enlightened people, you know. So we are in the light. You know, because from the time that we meet and know ourselves, yeah, we have to know each and every one. You know, I have a mindset that says that everyone is Rastafari, but most ones don't know it. True. Because if they did, they would try to light a life of light, of love, you know. It's an Ivan Liberty, you know. And this now, it work with music and culture and the movement of Rastafari. But everyone must start from the place of knowing knowledge of self. Right. Because knowledge of self is a purpose for which, for which everyone was created. Yes? This is the purpose, you know, because once you know yourself, you know, you, go, you must have to go within. You have to. Yes. Because if you go without, you're going without. Yes, sir. Yes, so you go within. And when you go within, you must find the divine one, you know. Because the partnership that you have with the Creator, you know, each one have a real partnership with our Creator. So no matter who you are. No matter who you are, you know, is a divine, is a divine presence inside of you. Everyone have it, but it's not everyone is aware of it right. or live it. But we need to be in a position to really leave it to check it and know itself and then we find that within is divine one you know and just connect because it's just light okay you know it's a it's a way it's a guidance is a is a inspired way of life that one journey on you know so that suppose you have a a, a question that you really you have something you're working out yes just remember that any problem we have you know the Almighty is bigger than that. Far bigger than that. Far, far bigger than that. No matter how big it seems to you inside of yourself. Because you come inside and, and we have big things are going on. Because, yeah, you know, as a people right now, there's a whole lot of things going on to disturb her and I. True, true. You see me? But at the same time, we can know, say, in the darkness of that disturbance, we can come through that into the light of the Most High, the man with Haile Selassie. Because him oh. direct. Good part, you know? Yes, so give thanks. Every time, yes. every time. Yes, sir. Great honor, great honor. Great for honor. The eye upon um, this series and the yes, program. Sir. Yes, know? sir. Um, we just want, um, we have, um, all right, we could deal with the Empress Men in Foundation, first all right. of all. Yes, Officially, sir. you know, just release. Yes, sir. Officially, just Hot release. Out of the press. Out in of this the moment. press. In this moment. Yes. And Many Empress, readers. does um, talk to me about um, the front part of it and tell me what The front cover, one. yes, you know, first of all, it starts at the top. You see the Empress Men in Foundation? Yes, sir. It's a, it's a magnificent vision that His Majesty give I that say, make me Empress visible. Because Empress Menin 
has been in the rest of our journey all along, all the time. Yes, sir. Making the balance. But I know the journey did always make her invisible. Yes, the light of His Majesty shine bright. And it, through the divine presence of His Majesty, we're definitely looking at Him. But remember, many ones will say straight away, but Him is a man, He's a king. Mm. And yet, straight away, you have to remember, yes, He's a king with a queen, and He's a man with His woman. Yes. And Empress Menin is His Empress, yes. as Emperor. Yes. Empress Menin is Empress. So, really, what we're talking about is our visibility. You know, yeah. So her works is so magnificent, as mother of the nation of Ethiopia. And so, you know, it, it's important that you know we, we love how you outline that because you know when when we check like um, the Bible, for instance. Yes. You know when they speak about um, Adam and Eve. Yes. You know what I mean, and how they demean the woman. You know what I mean. All the time. They put they, they, they put down the woman in in the early part of the Bible saying that the woman led the man to sin. But no one really looked at the man could have stand up and said, no. Definitely. No one Definitely. looked at that. They looked yes. and they always looked at the woman to say why the woman is this and the woman is that. It's because the society is built on the patriarchal system. It's, it's, a, it's a male dominated um, thoughts and uh, you know the way the society so this is why we have so much war really because it, you know it's a different it's a different kind of energy that is a male energy and that is the one that western societies perpetrate and, and, and use as as the norm but really if we go into agency in any any one of the societies them they want to go to you'll find that woman has always been a very strong and equal force in in the in the power structure and in in the whole nation building yes sir. you know of absolutely because when you educate a man you educate an individual true but when you educate a woman, you're educating the whole nation. That's we must never right. forget that. That's because, right. you know, the nation, the mother of the nation, Empress Menin, is the one who is making sure that the man in the nation is also educated. Yes. Is also looking after the giving the nurturing and the care and, and the, the, the kind of presence. Because, you know, the father wears a lot of hats in the family, but the mother wears even more because she's there, she's wearing the hat of the, the nurse, the, yes. the, you know, the whole, yes. the whole thing. Yes, the Minister of Finance, she's the mini yes. Yeah, yes, so, so, you know, at all times. So Empress Menin, making her <laughs> visible, yeah. is just making, is, is, is talking about woman visibility still, you know, and, and the honor and the position that one should be given to the mother of the nation, the, the mother of your personal nation, you know, you, the male in the family, you know, right now, the black man is an endangered species all over the earth, right now. It's, it's more evident right now because we have media. Yes, we've been blessed with media to actually show that all the while, you know, all, you can see it on your phone, you can see that, you don't have to turn on your TV, you know, they're all over, right, you can witness even witnessing this time, the, the, the destruction of the black family. Yes. Now, we are, it seems like we are walking into it all the while. But we have to say, stop. You know, stop and really see what we're doing because as the seed carrier of the nation, <coughs> yes, the man, if, we, if, we, if you're targeted, that's why I said from decades ago, I always did teach that the male is an endangered species. Because if, if the destruction of the family is about the male, the seed of the family, then you must know your position. And we, you know, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, family, you have to know that it's a long time now I see that we take our journey too lightly. We're too easygoing with our nation, you know, so that mm -hmm. we don't value, we don't value, we don't value, we don't value our male, we don't value our seed, we don't value our woman who's bearing the seed, you know, we, there's so therefore our children coming, see this lack of value and it get further and further into a, a state. Of, we have to, we have to draw breaks, man, 
and don't give in to another system you know of governance inside of your family you have to have a you know keep that love that means to say that no matter what is going on we have to that's why it's bad to say make me empress visible because that visibility mean a balance in the nation it means an awareness yes of of our rules you know so yeah we get this we get the we get the vision of the covers for these great great works you know because i have to say that even though you know i'm the one who is the vehicle for these great works because the inspiration truly the inspiration comes from his imperial majesty every time you see me every time so no, really, every time. So yes, these calendars, you, you know, it's information, it's education. You can learn, you know, about the African nations, the independence of the African nations. Yeah, their flag colors, their dates, you know, certain things like, you know, we have speeches on every page, for example, empowering speeches. We also have, a way of, re, you know, it's just not just a calendar. For 16 months, you have um, 16 months because it's an Ethiopian calendar. The Ethiopian calendar has got 13 months and it starts in, the Ethiopian calendar has got 13 months and it starts in September. Just like this, one Ethiopian Ras World Education calendar. Yes, so we started in September and it goes all the way through to December of the following year. So that's how you come to get 2019 to 2020 because it starts in 2019 September and it goes all the way to December 2020. Yes, I <laughs> this is you know this this work. So Powerful. we started September, we call it September Sheshamani, it's like the beginning of I and I being in Ethiopia in an official way because His Imperial Majesty give the land grant yeah. to the black peoples from the West. You know, many people still all over the world, people have a wrong idea about why the land grant. Mm -hmm. You know, they think it was in Ethiopia they believe it was given to Jamaicans because they believe that um, every West of Farah is Jamaican. Because they learned a long time ago, I have to question the patriots and ask them, the elders, you know, in the community, and ask them, why, why is it that, it, why is it that, why Jamaica, why did Ethiopians choose to say that the land given in Sheshamani was to Jamaicans only? He said because every kind of people is in Jamaica. <laughs> every so every Rastafari that Ethiopians see. They call them Jamaicans yes. because they know that Jamaica, the Duke of Jamaica motto, it says, out of many, one people. Mm. Yeah, so you know, say it's every race is in Jamaica and the history of Jamaica, you know, one, one's, you know, very it's, diverse. A, it's very diverse. Yes. So it's a very clever Ethiopian concept and mindset. And then we find that it's a real thing that links Jamaica. With, with, with Ethiopia. It's a real thing because His Imperial Majesty, when he came to Jamaica in 1966, His Majesty made a speech and he said, Ethiopians and Jamaicans are blood brothers. Not just from now, but from a very long time ago. Now His Majesty, when he said that, you know, it's a real deep, deep, deep uh, speech, you know, as all his speeches, but yes, look at the connection. Yes, sir. Over time of I and I being in Ethiopia as Rastafari and as Jamaicans, then the Jamaican, the Jamaican population you now get a, a upliftment, you know, being that is all Rastafari is called Jamaicans in Ethiopia, you know, is a is a big thing. Okay, so so the ones them you now one get a um, priest Paul, um, who's a, the leader, community leader at the time. Rastafari. He was a community leader at the time. He um he had a vision about Jamaica connection and found uh, not a brethren brought a book you know because you know when when his majesty give I and I works to do and when him give us a vision of something to do him give us the tools he always give us the tools him being his imperial majesty yes he always give us the tools to do the works that he give us to do. So don't worry, man, that you're not going to be able to do it. Don't worry, my sister or my brother, that you're not going to be able to fulfill that great, big passion that you get inside when you get a work, you know, 
because it's a it's a it's a thing that means that it over it take you over like the Empress Menin Foundation is a vision that I had that take me over and still takes I over. Give thanks because you know when you say make me Empress visible, the next thing that came was a computer screen. Now in this time when I get this vision now, all them years ago, I had a fear, although I was a teacher, a primary school teacher, I did already get the clever idea that to the youth them, the most of the youth them have come in the school I was teaching, most of the youth them had computers at home. So therefore, they were very adept in the computer usage. Now me we had a fear of it, being an older one still, and I'd from that mindset. So I had to find a way. So this is what I did. I find the brightest students with the computer and get them to teach and rotate and teach the students and me. So when I get the vision with a computer screen come up, I'm like, oh, computer, okay. And then straight away, Empress Men in Foundation come across the computer screen, okay? In the same font where you see it here, just like that. Empress Men in Foundation. It near monetize called Siva. <laughs> yes, sir, because I don't know nothing about them thing there. But because of the, the, the impression just come across the screen like this. You know, just going across the screen. And then underneath it, after me say, oh, Empress Million, yes, Empress Million. You know the vision. I say, yes, Empress Million. And then educating the community, empowering the nation. That's the Empress Million Foundation. It's about education of divine order. And so, we are very honored to present to the nation divine a divine education journey, which is the theme for this calendar for 2020. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's really special. Thank and we give thanks to get the, the opp opportunity to launch it here because, of you know, course. I'm just picking it up from the printer. So, as I said, you know, and we also have education that relates to the 12 tribes of Israel, a mansion house of the Rastafari movement. Yes, um, as I said before, you know, this rest of, this rest of our journey is kind of, it's like a division, but it's not, it's a trinity. It's a trinity of the divine liberty, the divine movement, and the divine culture and history. Yes, so this, the culture and the history of Rastafari will, will be the area where you find the reggae music and the, and the, as well as the Ethiopian history and connections because to go forward to that connection with the Ethiopia direct again with the people you know that th there was a time in, in Ethiopia in Harar where the, the, the Muslim leader Muhammad Grant took over the place and he was compelling Ethiopians to be slaves or to follow Islam yes so they would want them to choose to reject Islam and to, they were sold into slavery. When there was 20 to 28,000, maybe 30,000 of them sold to the British, the French and the Portuguese. Now, the British brought their ones to the Caribbean. You see this, you see the, you know, the connection now with, with what Harar, with the Harar, with the ancient Cushitic people, because in that time, you know, all Ethiopians, all of Africa, it was, it was called, it was, remember, just like the Bible, the Bible does not have the word Africa in it, nowhere. Whereas the word Ethiopia, yes, Ethiopia, which covers the whole continent of Africa, that word is the word that refers to the continent of Africa. And in the Bible, it also points to the divine king, for it says, this man was born there. Yes, of Zion it shall be said, this man was, this and that man was born in her. Well, this man, Emperor Haile Selassie, was born there. And guess where the place is? It's a place named Harar. In Harar was where the 20, 28,000 slaves were shipped out from Harar to the Caribbean, to Jamaica. In particular, there was probably at least 10,000 to Jamaica and the Caribbean generally, right? Now, how we make the connection with Jamaica directly? Here is the name of the tribe. The name Babo. That is one tribe that came directly from Ethiopia. Babo. And this tribe, we name Babo now. This is how in, in Jamaica, we hear the thing when you, you see the thing where there's a saying, 
um, about the, the Indian population, you know, called Kuli. Cool. You know, there's a saying that Kuli Babu, you know, because they were the best grower of Talalo. So yes. they said they do it, yeah. them do yeah. that for the yeah. Talalo. Yeah. Kuli Babu, yeah. that name Babu, yeah. yes, that is the same name that comes from the tribe in Ethiopia. Rastafari. Yes. Direct link. Now, when you check out the Babu tribe, now you find the Borino people, and uh, you know, throughout the Caribbean, they're spread, and there's certain connections that is live and real. So, give thanks and praise for that ancient Kushitic link. And that is it, why it is one of the months in the calendar is called Kush. Because that story must be told. subscribe button see you on the next video i guess start the mindset mash that subscribe button see you on the next video i guess start the mindset